everyone welcome to my channel my name is Jen um, so my country of Nepal went into lockdown on March 24th of 2020 today is day 72 uh, of lockdown um, sadly the COVID cases in Nepal have been rising um, more so in the last two weeks um, bringing the total cases to I believe 2338 um, positive cases and eight deaths as of today you know, uh, after being in lockdown for so long and being quarantined for so long, people are really getting restless. And, um, you know, I've, I've, I've been seeing a lot more vehicles out on the streets. A lot, of, a lot more people are out on the streets and a lot more businesses are um, opening up. And it almost seems like the lockdown is unofficially loosening up. Um, and uh, it doesn't help to not know how long more you know this is going to go until anyway i thought it would be fun to just make a small you know video of how my lockdown days are going here in my hometown of pokhara and share it with you guys all right so come along so guys it's uh time to make some lunch and um for lunch, I have some brown rice in the rice cooker. Uh, we're making some fiddleheads. Can you say fiddleheads? Fiddleheads. Uh, we call it neuro in Nepali. Yeah. Can you say neuro, Ryan? Neuro. Yeah, and what else is that? Um, what is this, Mama? And some salmon. That's what's for lunch. And this is Ryan Boshi, my three-year-old, uh, who's my best kitchen helper. Okay, crush. So if you know Pokhara, you know it rains uh, here a lot. Uh, Pokhara gets the highest amount of rainfall in Nepal. Uh, so the monsoon has started, I can safely say that. It usually starts mid-June, uh, then peaks in July and August, and then slowly tapers off early September. Uh, but yeah, it started a little bit early this year. Uh, and with the rain comes the humidity, of course. Um, so yeah, enjoy the rain. guys um, so now we are heading to Sebi there is some construction work happening in our farm uh, about 15 to 20 guys um, live in the premises and work there so don't get me wrong they are not going back and forth they live there and um, they've been working for a few months now so yeah let's go see So quite a few good restaurants and cafes have opened up in North Lakeside. Um, there's the Three Sisters. But sadly, they've all been shut down for the past couple of months because of the lockdown. Oh, some construction work. I think these guys are building a canal for the water. It is the rainy season here in Pokhara and um, we can never have enough canals, canals for the water. Because of the, uh, because of the rain, there's no sun today but it's still very nice and cool, which I prefer. Since the main road is under construction, 
we are taking a detour going to the farm and because it's been raining all day today the road is very muddy so we have reached the farm but I can't get out this boy fell asleep on the way here um, I guess I'll let him sleep a little bit and uh, I'll show you around ciao So here we are at the farm. Um, we had this farm for about six or seven years and all those years this used to be a very big farm. Uh, we were growing a lot of organic vegetables that we use for the restaurant. It's still going to be a farm resort so which means we're still going to have a lot of organic farming here but for the time being um, there's not much um, vegetables or anything of that sort left here but you can see there's a lot of construction started by the way that white house back behind me is the cable car coming up and so yeah this is what the houses look like at the moment this is going to be the bedroom space this is the bedroom namaste and this is where the bed is going to be and from the bed you will see the lake that's the view and um this is where the bathroom is going to be. All of that stuff. But check out the view, guys. One of the things I like to do when I come here is, you know, take a look at the site, how the work is progressing. And then my favorite thing to do is to have some Nepali chia. Tea, we call it chia. So, yep, yeah, let's go. Time for some tea. Chia bon day, sir. Say hi. Say hi, baby. There's four of them here in the farm. Say bye bye. Oh, how nice. Thank you. This one right there. Cheers! Let me show you some of the fruit trees we have here. We have that one right there, that's the lychee tree. This one right here, that's the peach tree. And we have, let's see, what do we have? This one with the rounded leaves is the jackfruit tree. Kitty cat. Hi. Hi, Buffalo. Hi. You want to say something? You want to say something? Hi. Hello, baby. All right, guys. So now it's almost time to go home, and I'll see you in a bit. I'm home now, and uh, I am at my vegetable garden. Uh, it's almost 6 in the evening and this is usually the time I uh, water the plants and my vegetables here. Hey guys, welcome to my vegetable garden. This is where we grow some of our vegetables for the house. We have some um, green beans, we have some green peppers, some tomatoes, some bitter gourd, karela. We have some eggplants, uh, some girola. I don't know what you call girola in English. Uh, but it's yummy. <laughs> we have a lot of mint, some parsley. So yeah, let me show you around real quick. All right, it's getting dark, so I don't want to take too much time. So anyone know what this is? Yep, this is the galanga I got from Thailand, along with this lemongrass. There's the green beans, some tomatoes. Here's our tomato. And we have more right in there. And look at this. Oh, perfect. Mm, another one. Yes, yeah, so guys, I'm not much of a gardener, but this is my first, well, one of the first attempts in growing vegetables. Um, 
There's our other tomato plant that's growing well. A lot of mint. Yeah, I think everybody should have a small vegetable garden in their house or on the rooftop as we see trending in Nepal nowadays, which is always good. Right around here is the cucumber that I planted. I don't remember, maybe six, seven weeks ago. Hey everyone, I'm in the kitchen and it's almost time for dinner now. Um, but before I make dinner, I really wanted to quickly share with you what we have here that are some of my favorite things. Okay, so starting from here, almonds. I love almonds. I mix them in oatmeal and cereal, everything pretty much. Smoothies, walnuts, sunflower seeds, black seeds, chia seeds. We have all the seeds in the world. Just kidding. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and some vitamins here. I'm gonna go ahead and make some dinner now and you guys do whatever you're doing. Okay, go to speak. Oops. So this brings us to the end of today's vlog. I really had a good time filming this. Uh, I feel a little awkward, but this is my first vlog ever. So please show some love, give it a like, subscribe. And uh, hopefully I will be showing you of, of more of Pokhara and the eateries here. There's some great places you can eat, um, some great places you can see. I was born and raised in Pokhara, so who better than? All right, take care you guys, stay safe, stay home as much as you can, and uh, yeah, take care of yourself and your loved ones.